Hello, welcome to episode 86 of my blind let's play of Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree. Fucking cannot figure out how the fuck to get down into this fucking area. I hope this is it here and it's just some little pathway that I fucking missed on my first time through this area. Cause I'm literally like, oh, okay, I, I gotta switch off this goddamn weapon. Yeah, I've definitely been down here before. Okay, okay, before I get got, please, here we go. Uh, fucking cats are just fighting and... Not even fighting, it's like the one is like bullying the other. And then like the gray one who's so like kind and fucking sweet. God fucking damn it, buddy! And then the gray one runs too cuz I'm yelling cause, oh my god whatever man whatever you guys both you guys fucking both just like I don't know I don't know what to say I don't know what to do try my fucking best doesn't fucking do fuck all nobody seems to fucking give a shit Obviously, my fucking best just ain't ain't fucking worth all that much. Fuck off, guys, you fucking idiots. Fuck you! Thank God that missed. <sighs> yeah, I've definitely been down here. Don't see any fucking way down below. I don't even see any fucking land down below. I'm not that far away from it now. Like, where the fuck is it? It's up there? Or is that just the only part that I can see sticking out from the mountains? Like, is it down inside the mountains? Somebody please give me a hint how I get down here and how I get up here. Please, 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 please. Yeah, th this situation with the fucking cats just feels like another representation of my life as a fucking whole. Like, uh, doesn't matter what I do. I, I try my best. I try my best to make everything as good as possible. And it just gets me fucking nowhere. And then I get frustrated with it, and then people don't like me because of my fucking anger. Literally, I've been dealing with this since I was a little fucking kid with my fucking family. So just fuck everybody, man. Well, here we are, almost at the fucking... The area that I started from when I was exploring earlier. I mean, I could use that to try and fly off the fucking edge. I don't think it would do fuck all. Yeah, and, and I'm right beside the site of Grace now, right? I'm just across the bridge from it. How do I get there? No one fucking knows. Or, not no one knows. I don't know. I can't figure it out. You would think the game would provide some kind of fucking logical solution and if it has i'm just too fucking stupid to figure it out so sucks to be me i guess like dark souls 3 logic would tell me that i just have to break this fucking bridge and that does nothing Uh, it's a bummer to fucking carry on to the final area knowing that like and this area is gonna let me continue this quest I would like to continue the quest but I, I just am not fucking good enough to fucking figure fucking shit out 
the bosses, the fucking exploration, nothing. Like, it's... Is there another path somewhere in here I didn't find? Who fucking knows? It's enormous. This fucking thing is enormous. I'm checking everywhere that seems logically like it might lead somewhere, and none of it fucking does. Let's go check this edge again. I'm sure I've already done it. There's Hazel going to get her food. Like, I hope she gets her food without getting bullied fucking away from the food. Fuck, she's not gonna fucking like me now. She already is, like, not showing me affection today because... Because Buddy fucking punishes her for it, so that's fucking so fucking sad. God, just fucking nuke this fucking planet. Not with a nuclear bomb, just fucking get rid of it. Just fucking get rid of us all. I fucking hate this place, man. I fucking can't stand it. And what the fuck can I do about it as one person? I try and talk to people. Nobody gives a shit. Even the people in the fucking truth movement don't fucking go as deep as I do. They don't fucking care. Everybody's got their fucking angle. The fucking Christian people only care about human beings and they fucking worship this fucking deity, Jesus. Oh, it's about the blood sacrifice of Jesus and I'm covered by the blood. And I like Christians a lot. There's a lot culturally to like about them and they tend to be a lot more on board with the truth these days than most other people but like they literally think that that they have to perform pagan ritual in order to be fucking accepted by god no that's not the fucking case quit it with your fucking deity worship quit it with your fucking blood worship and, you know, animals mean nothing to them. Animals are just a tool to be used to them. Well, that's fucking great. That's fucking wonderful. What about the part of the Bible where God said, uh, you know, whatever you do unto, like, my fucking weakest creatures, I will consider you to have done that to me when you fucking come talk to me at the pearly gates. Nope. Goes in one ear and out the other. Contradiction doesn't matter. It's just, you know, whatever. It'll just, just let the Bible confirm my biases, please. And it's not real unless it's part of the Word of God, a book that got written over 2,000 years ago. Only stuff from that book written... I mean, it's just as goofy as the people that don't believe anything that didn't come out of the fucking New York Times. And then, you know, the people outside of the truth movement fucking forget about it. Fucking mental patients. Everybody on this planet. Nobody's just for, like, wholesomeness across the board. Logic across the board. Calmness across the board. Decency across the board. Everybody's got their fucking angle based on their fucking background trauma and their fucking brainwashing and their programming. You think it's only people like that Michael fucking or Matthew or whatever Thomas Crooks guy that shot Trump in the ear? that have fucking undergone MK Ultra shit? No. They practiced and tested MK Ultra in the 50s, at least publicly. And then by the time the 60s started, they fucking were using it on everybody. We're all MK Ultra. The whole fucking like rock and roll music industry is MK Ultra. It's all witchcraft. Like That's why they've been trying to implement their plan in full now, because they believe that we're all mind-controlled slaves. That we all have these altars, and we all can just be led by the fucking nose based on the commands they give us and the introduction of certain, like, traumatic stimulus. Hi, Hazel. Love you. I hope you ate well, sweetie. Come on, oh, Hazel, come Oh, Now she's running. So, because I yelled, now she's running, too. You know what? Fuck it. Everybody fucking hates me. That's just fucking wonderful. That's just a fucking wonderful life that I'm fucking living. And then and then you get women. Like try and stand up for women and like you just can't do anything good enough. 
well, you shouldn't have yelled at the cat. You shouldn't just yell ever. Well, like, what if fucking frustration just... Try lighting a fire in their bellies instead. Oh, I missed this. That would have given me a hint about the guy. Although I did get another hint that helped me defeat him. Um, yeah, if you just, if you ever fucking yell about anything, then you're toxically masculine. Doesn't matter how much frustration it took to get you there. It doesn't matter that the frustration was derived in situations where you were trying your best to fucking help them. Like, I'm trying to help a female cat stop getting bullied by a male cat. And, like, it's just a lot of frustration. These aren't even my fucking cats. The fucking owner of the fucking cats doesn't even care, and he's my friend. And I'm not just going to come down on him either. So I just come down on my fucking self, and I just fucking absorb it all. All this fucking frustration. And who cares in the end about what I'm going through? Nobody. Nobody. Life doesn't even care. Life doesn't fucking cut me any slack. Life doesn't send me any little signs like, hey, you know, hang in there. Fucking nothing these days. Nothing, nothing, nothing. It's just suffering. So fuck you all. I feel like I've even been down here before. Yeah, this is fucking nothing new. So I just go into escapism. I play video games. I'm gonna eat my supper and watch Lost tonight. And I, yeah, I have a bag of chips on the table and I'll continue drinking pop and beer. As I drink water alongside it, yes, I stay hydrated. Really enjoy drinking water. It's, I would say the number one thing I drink every day. Although, if you tally up the other stuff I drink like pop and and coffee mainly together, I might drink more of that than water. I don't know. I, you know, I'm not a perfect person. Who fucking cares? There's nobody fucking listening to this generally anyway. Whoever is listening, thank you. I appreciate it. I don't mean to downplay you if you are sitting here listening to this. I do appreciate that a lot. You know, I just fucking have a lot of fucking frustration. Hi, Hazel. I see you looking at me from the top of the stairs. God damn. All right. Uh... Let me just go approach Hazel and try and pet her and hopefully get her not to hate me. What is going on? Am I about to be attacked? I'm not even looking at the screen. Hi, Hazel. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sweetheart. I love you. I'm sorry. <sighs> Yeah, she sniffs my hand, and then she just, like, looks around like she's looking for Buddy. Yeah, she's probably fucking at her fucking wit's end. She's probably, her nerves are probably, like, super on fucking edge. Like, just from that with Buddy, and then me, like, the one person in here who's nice to her. And then I yell, too. I'm sure she's not thrilled. Let me try and touch her. She doesn't want to be touched. Because she's afraid of Buddy. God fucking damn you, Buddy Cat. It's not even his fault. Why is he so jumpy? Like, he's always ready to run and flee. Even when he's purring and cuddling with you. And then, it, like, you just move a slightly and he's ready to run and flee. Who the fuck did something to this fucking cat? God fucking damn this fucking world. Just fucking burn it to the fucking ground from the inside. Don't even give us a chance to fucking scream just fucking end it just fucking blink it out of existence just thanos snap us fuck this fucking world man it's just fucking suffering and pain like 
if you knew the amount of situations in my life that happened exactly like this, you do your best, and everything turns out in the worst possible fucking way anyway. It's like every situation in my life fucking turns out like this. And I just end up fucking alone with nobody around me that gives a shit about me. And, yeah, is that selfish only thinking about me when I'm clearly not the only fucking person suffering, even in my surroundings? Yeah, it is, but you gotta be somewhat fucking selfish. I mean, I care that I'm fucking suffering. Sorry for being so fucking selfish. Like, holy shit, man. I'm, like, arguing with nobody, except I'm not arguing with nobody. I'm arguing with the fucking collective consciousness of humanity, because I've heard all the arguments a fucking trillion times each in 38 years. Literally, the only people who even act like they give a shit about you in this world are people that you do things for. Like, I understand exchange of value, but Jesus Christ, like... Does anybody just give a shit for the sake of giving a shit? Seems like no. Really seems like no. Pretty fucking brutal. I mean, that's a nice shot. That looks really cool. That's like kind of like a painting or almost like an album cover. Gee whiz. Wish I could find my way down in there. That'd be pretty cool, eh? Oh, the edge of the land is there. But I'm like several layers above that. I mean, I don't even know how to get down there. Otherwise, I pro like here. I can't get down here. Otherwise, I might be able to find my way further beyond that. Ah. Oh. I mean, I'm pretty fucking certain I've tried breaking all these bridges. That over there is just the place that led to the Bonnie Jail with the scorpions. Oh my god. Well, like, what a fucking stupid thing. You, like... Yeah, I want to look at the back of the horse's head. Oh yeah, there's the fucking marker for the map. I mean, dude, there it is. I can see it clear as day. How do I get down here? don't want to just look it up. The more I look up, the more chances there are to get spoiled on things. I know there's not that much left to be spoiled on. Look at that. Is that a little cave entranceway or something? Oh, God. Hazel's going for more food. Well, now I have no fucking good relationship with fucking Hazel now. That's fucking so fucking sad, man. God fucking damn. What the heck is that? It's like a little altar place or something. Wish I could get down there. Oh my god. Where do I go? Where is there left to check? I've fucking checked all this shit. Dude, another fucking random phone call to this fucking house. Literally none of Who even keeps a house line anymore? Hello? Hi, my name's Steve Golf here. I'm calling from Leger Research. We're heading. 
Dude, it's so demeaning being a fucking call center agent. Or not just a call center agent, but someone who's doing outbound cold calling. Fucking incredibly fucking demeaning and depressing. You could hear that guy was having trouble keeping like a friendly tone in his voice. He was just kind of like bummed out to be fucking on the phone. Hope his day gets better. But yeah, he's probably sitting there thinking, is this, is this what my fucking life is worth? Just fucking calling people on the phone, bugging them at 8.30 at night to answer some bullshit questions that they don't want to answer in order to fucking provide data for a fucking data aggregation company, Leger Research, so that they can fucking make profit off of bugging people uh, over the phone. Like, you can hear the swaying of the bridge, but you can't break the bridge. Hey, Hazel. Uh. Fuck, yeah, I did something nice for the cats today. I put a bunch of effort in to fucking clean this fucking disgusting fucking house. And of course, that's the day when, uh... <laughs> when they fucking... Don't, don't fucking like me. It's surprisingly not that hard to walk on top of this thing. How do I get... Down there. Why can't I figure it out? Am I too stupid? Oh, there's a fucking sight of grace. Too bad I can't get down to it. Like, does that lead from over here? I mean, how do I get down here? Oh, I go through this tunnel. This tunnel doesn't lead this way. I mean, I just don't fucking know. I just don't fucking know. What am I missing? What the fuck am I missing? Side of grace there. Unfucking reachable. You've got the new age people as well who, if you ever say anything negative, they say, oh, well, that's just going to reflect back to you from life. If you ever said anything negative, then whatever negative comes to you in life, it's your fault and you made that happen to yourself. So you just have to be a fucking slave to positivity and just never, you know, acknowledge any of your negative emotions. And if, uh, if you don't live like that, then it's your fault that you're suffering. Yeah. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. That's not fucking suppression of your emotions, which only lead... Like, <laughs> like what happens when you keep something negative on the inside and you never fucking express it or talk about it or do anything about it? it just festers and gets worse. Then you just keep plastering a fucking fake smile on your face and fake positivity into your fucking life like my mom does and then all of a sudden positivity is associated with negativity subconsciously. That's, that's like really fucking horrible for your emotional being to do that to yourself. 
Well, I, I, I can't find shit all. I cannot find shit fuck all. Talk to Dryleaf Dane. Talk to Tialia. I don't think I've really done much since last time I talked to this fucking idiot down here who's never done or said anything for me. There's nobody left to go around and talk to. Oh, except the fucking people in here. Oh, and they're not there right now. Like, where did those people go? Like, what changes whether they're there or not? Is it the time of day? I don't fucking know. You would think the time of day would change when you warp, too. Yeah, there's nobody here. Why? Where did they go? Oh, it's just lying. Be on your way. I will hand them. Fuck you, bitch. Oh, hello. Yeah, lots. Lots, man. I can't fucking figure out. I don't even know how to get back down into here, but I'm not even worried about that because that's the third one until I get over to here, the second one. How do I get down in there? I mean, let's go check that fucking map again that he gave me for the second ruins map. Yeah. I mean, clear as day where it is. Um, does that map reveal anything else about how I might like, it shows a big courtyard up on that cliff or something, or is that just the... Is that just the Shadow Keep? Yeah, it showed some kind of big courtyard up here, or... Uh, up here? I mean, I don't fucking know. This looks like a big crater or something. Wish I could, like, overlay those maps. I see the bridge. Maybe that's just, just the shadow keep that it's showing. I don't know. Where else have I not checked? Fuck, this is not fun. Main gate plaza, like was there somewhere in the main gate plaza that I missed that leads me here and up here and I go over here? I, I don't know. None of this makes sense. Let's try it. Let's try it. Fuck, I just constantly doom scroll on my phone, just hoping that, I don't know. Somebody's gonna message me, or some really enlightening fucking YouTube video's gonna show up, or... Or whatever. I 
Hardly remember the layout of this area. Oh my god. Come on. The water drained, but not that much. Or maybe it didn't drain out of this section. Right, right, right. This is a shortcut up into here. And then up in here is where I fought the... Or no, here is where I fought the golden hippopotamus. So what's... Yeah, there was no, like, continued path over here, was there? God damn it. Come on. Did I ever go down here? It's hard to say that. It's a pretty obs obscure little ladder. Let's check. I mean, I probably did, but let's check. I mean, the odds of this leading to that fucking upper cliff area are not very high, but... I mean, I don't think I did come down here. Well, that's cool. I mean, it's at least cool finding somewhere different. Let's keep this bright so that I can clearly see where the edge of this motherfucker is. Oh, it continues. <gasps> where am I going? I don't think I found this. Good gravy. Okay, confirmation I did not find this. Somber 8, I'll take it. Fucking arms itchy. Fuck, it's so hard to see that there's still a floor there. Dude, how far does this go? Hey Hazel, love ya, sorry for yelling. I don't know how long it's gonna take for you to forgive me, but all good friend, or part of it's not even forgiving me. Part, well, part of it is just like she doesn't feel that I am protecting her against Buddy, which like, if I overprotect her, then I feel like Buddy's gonna go fucking haywire and just start, like, wrecking shit, and... Like, cats get pretty, um... Cats are kinda like women when you fucking go against them too much. They'll, like, just start taking extreme measures. They'll fucking just go nuclear on you. Like a fucking... You know, girlfriend that got cheated on that goes and fucking... Smashes her boyfriend's truck up or something. Uh. Is that a painting? fucking jail down here too well it doesn't look like I'm finding what I'm <gasps> all the fucking wall attacking is paying off dude okay painting Domain of Dragons, okay.
The painter is said to have captured... Uh, yeah. Domain of Dragons, so... Somewhere that I can see the Skadju tree from way the fuck down here. I'll probably start at the top and just like walk down the mountain because obviously uh, up at the top is where you're going to be more likely to be able to get a good view of the Skadju tree. Okay, and where does this go? Dude, holy shit, man. There's a lot to this place. Surprised that's just a little dead end, but I guess this is just uh, part of the drainage system. I think that's maybe only the third or fourth fake wall I found in this fucking DLC. The coffin! No way! This could actually fucking lead there. No fucking way, man. Persistence. Persistence is paying off, I think, maybe. Oh my god. No fucking way. No fucking way. Dude. I finally found the coffin. This is nowhere near where the coffin hint guy was. This is like the other side of the fucking map. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Dude, what a cool little room. This reminds me of the sewers under Lane Dell. Coolest part of Lane Dell, in my opinion. Other than then the the alternate round table hold, which is also pretty sweet. Actually, there's a lot to like about Rain Dell, Lane Dell. The thing about the, the legacy dungeon areas that are like cities is they're too open. There's too many directions to go. I like it when things are a little more constrained and you have like choices in pathways, forks and crossroads and stuff. Uh, my fucking, my guess actu actually fucking paid off. It actually fucking came to something. No fucking way. Okay, so let's head this way first. This could be a room with a fucking mini boss in it or something. Skadju Altus. No, that's just a case of mistaken uh, terrain identity, I do believe. Or maybe not. Maybe this does technically count as Schedule Altus. So this is the bottom of the the room that I took the coffin from, it looks like. Except why aren't there why aren't why isn't the water like traveling down the walls? Peculiar. Traveling by coffin. That is quite the travel method. Places like this make me feel like I'm in S Skyrim, too. Traveling around, uh... What, what were the Nordic ruins called? Where all the Draugr were and stuff. Can't remember. Dude! Oh, I'm at the bottom. And maybe this is only accessible once the water's been drained. Oh, maybe this is gonna lead me all down here. Dude, let's fucking go. Oh, there's a broken furnace down here. Wow, man. Castle watering hole. Wow, wow, wow. Oh my god.
Dude, okay, there's a lot ahead of me. All right, I'm 40 minutes in. Thank you for watching episode 86 of my... The extremely depressing episode 86 of my blind let's play of Elden Ring Shadow of the Erd Tree. Hope your day is going better than mine. Let me know in the comments. Uh, like, share, subscribe. Please, 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 please. I would like this uh, channel to gain some traction so that I can actually get you know my thoughts out into the world and make some money and have a good wholesome life that we all would like to have thank you for watching see you in episode 87 have a good night peace out